Welcome to Swinger University, your horizontal enrichment program. Offering you the naked facts about swinging. Here are your hosts, Ed and Phoebe. Hi, this is Ed. And this is Phoebe. We're recording day two at the LLV Costa Rica Takeover. Yes. Oh, my goodness. If you haven't heard by our voices yet, they're a little raspy. Mine especially. <laughs> lots yes. of lots of um, talking and screaming and, you know. It was a full day of, of talking and, and then talking over music and the dance club and things like that. So I'm a little hoarse. And uh, we are, our energy is a little lower today because it was a very busy day. Um, but we did get some rest. So we're going uh, to start off with what happened yesterday, midday through midday today. Right. So we did the whole kayaking thing. Yeah. Came back to the room, recorded, and then we took it from there. Yeah. Down to the pool. And there was a lot of pool time yesterday. A lot of people, that's pretty much what they did. There was no excursions. Um, they have, like we had mentioned before, they have two pools. They have a lower pool, which they call the hot tub pool because it's smaller, but it's not really that small. Or, uh, or much hotter than the regular pool. <laughs> so, yeah, maybe that's it. There you go. And then the upper pool. And so the, the lower pool was, was happening. I mean, that's where it was at. It's a little more intimate of a setting. It's more surrounded by the jungle, kind of just envelops you. And because of its nice round shape and the swim up bar, it seems a lot of people really liked that area for gathering. Right. There was no music and no shade, but that's where everyone wanted to be because uh, small, it's like a kitchen, right? Everyone wants to pack into a small space. And there was a bar, so it was like... Yeah. <laughs> and the swim-up bar was where most people were hanging out. Yeah, yeah. So because of the um, <clears throat> no shade and uh, me not wanting to be in the water all day to protect the hoo-ha and make sure she was in fighting shape, um, mm -hmm. I couldn't stay in the water for too long. And uh, I am white as a ghost uh, based on my German heritage, so I could not be in the sun for very long. I mean, my fake tan looks lovely, but um, I'd be applying sunscreen every 20 minutes. <laughs> yeah. So, um, so we spent time in the upper pool, which was just as lovely. A um, little less people, but they had music, which I loved, and um, people would rotate in and out. And we found our thruple couple up there, so we hung with them and chatted with them quite a bit, and then. As the new people rotated in, the group got bigger. Yeah, and it was a pretty steady stream of new people that we got to meet. Yeah. And, you know, where are you from? What, you know, what's your thing? Yeah, yeah. It was all very interesting, um, very nice, lovely people. And then at some point, volleyball started, which was super sexy to watch. Naked volleyball. Naked volleyball. Boobs bouncing good. in the up and down in the water. So great. Fair amount of that. <laughs> there was some uh, nipple O-ring play, mm. which was fun. I did participate in that. Yeah. And you discovered that you shouldn't keep them on for too long. I know. Oh, my poor nipples. <laughs> my gosh. Yeah. So they got, in, as if you've never used them, they got engorged. And so they... they they swelled, and so that made getting the O-ring off even harder Yeah, um, because they'd been on too long. And so they were starting to turn purple, and I said, oh, my God, we need to take these off. And so um, Ed was trying to be very, very gentle. And then at one point he said, baby, I'm just going to have to pull off, rip the Band-Aid off, basically. And I'm like, oh. Yeah. So Even um, the saliva and the, the sucking didn't no. help too much. Water, though, it's amazing, even like with a ring. You know, yeah, your, finger. your fingers swell up. It, it's the oil that really does help, but we didn't have any, and we need to get them off soon. So, anyway. Yes. <sighs> the nipples were saved. The nipples were saved. And what else did you get for your nipples? Oh, 
a nice triangle, hot, hot orange, neon orange, LLV triangle bikini. Yeah. With a tiny little triangle front and a tiny little triangle in the back. <laughs> Very tiny triangles. Four little tiny triangles. <laughs> All kind of semi-connected. Yeah. So it was super sexy. And their logo is really great. So it was really fun. They had a table selling them. And of course, I wanted to buy one. Oh, my God. They were only $30. I'm like, uh, two, please. I almost bought three because it was like one in every. Oh, they actually had four. I really I should have just bought all four. But I got a hot uh, neon orange and then a purple. A very bright, brilliant purple, which will look great against my red hair. Mm-hmm. That was the logic. The purple and the red, red hair. hair. Yeah, that's where the decision went. Because there was a sense. red, purple, red, purple. I don't know. Went with purple. I'm happy that you're getting skimpy <laughs> little bikinis. So, <laughs> so I rocked that bathing suit. Not like I needed one, because I think I brought six bathing suits, and not like you need those either at a naked resort. But you know, right. it's fun to just prance around and, you know, it's like a costume change. Yeah. But it is interesting, I will say, as I commented to Ed as we were walking to the pool the other day in my LLV bathing suit, I said, you know, I've I've never been comfortable walking around in a two-piece ever until really recently. Like, never as a teenager, never in my younger adult years, I never was ever that comfortable doing that. I saw people do it. I wanted to be comfortable doing that, but not until I became a swinger. <laughs> and, and late in the swinger game. And late, yeah. So it's amazing how you just evolve and change. And, you know, based on everyone's background and upbringing and programming, you, you, you know, you, you got what you got. You work with what you got and you grow and you change and you move and you evolve and you become different and, yeah and all that good stuff whatever the world is your oyster for however you want to experience it absolutely and you realize when people are hitting on you you are actually hot (laughs) and you start to embrace it yeah yeah so yesterday was a good day and then we um we took a nap after that long day of being in the sun took a nap before dinner a little cooked Mm -hmm. a little extra crispy yeah. Ed used sunscreen, but Ed got cooked. And a number of people did. We, we were noticing the ruddy hue of most of the people running around. I am surprised people are down out in the sun right now at the pool. I, I don't know how they do it. But, um, you know, when you get the, when you get the, uh, well, we'll talk about that later. What happens when you get too much sun, too much drinking, and too much pool time? <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, boy. So dinner. Dinner was great and fabulous. Oh, my gosh. Again, food is so good. Seafood, uh, chicken. Um, was, was it roast beef? What was it? Uh, ribs. Pri- it was prime rib. Prime rib. Prime rib was not so good. I think it was overcooked. It was tough. It was, yeah. I could it not get my butter knife <laughs> through it. <laughs> so. A little gnawy. Yeah, but the fish, oh, so fabulous. And even the chicken and all the different dishes and the sweet potato. Like, everything here tastes different. Like, it was a mashed sweet potatoes, but did not taste like our sweet potatoes, right? Right. We were talking about this yesterday. The, quote, tamale here tastes totally different from a, a tamale there. Now, I understand there's lots of different kinds of tamales, but still tasted completely different. Um, broccoli tastes different. I mean... Yeah. It, it's just, and different squash and different vegetables, um, fruits. It's, it's just, I have so much fun just tasting everything. So that's what I do. I get a little plate of every little thing, I sample every little thing, and then I, you know, get to experience and it there's all. there's plenty of choices, so. Mm-hmm. Because it's like a lifestyle. There's plenty of choices to sample from. Ah, so lovely. So theme night was devil and angel. And holy crap. Okay, so the party started at 9. Yeah, about that. Yeah. And during 
Oh, so explain the the bars, how they had it. There's two of them. Yeah, so there's kind of a dance floor area, and right next to the dance floor, they have a disco indoors, which is also a karaoke bar, and we we tolerated it to get a drink, and then we got out. Until someone started singing Johnny Cash's um, Ring song, of Fire. Ring of Fire. Yeah. And I love that song by Johnny Cash. But when somebody else was singing it, that's so great. It, you know, it's hit and miss. I mean, karaoke is <laughs> kind of a throwing a dart at a wall. Yeah. Maybe it's good, maybe it's, it's not. not. You, just, you, know, you, you never know. Your mileage will vary. But right next door to that is a, a more formal bar, mm -hmm. and you can go in and get drinks made but the the the, the disc well they called that the disco inside with the air conditioning and karaoke but then outside near the lobby they converted a seating area into the larger dance floor with lights right video DJ. screens yeah. um and big laser DJ. lights mm -hmm. live dj oh he was good the whole thing dj good. noise yeah. N O I Z E. He was really good. Yeah, I he liked was fun. his music. It was what I call dance music, but a lot of people will call it EDM music. But I like it because it's the energy. It keeps you going, especially me being an interview introvert. I need that rhythm to just keep me going. It was so fun. Yeah. Yeah. And it's the, the, the EDM with kind of traditional songs. Yeah mixed in with the the bass line, the beats. Yeah, and, the, and so older fun. songs, like um, some 80s stuff was mixed in there with a new beat. And I was like, oh my God, I love this song from the 80s, but it's like new and hip and different. You know, yeah. you've all been there. You get it. Good times. So it was fun. The dancing was fun. They rotated out two separate buffets. So they brought out one buffet of all kinds of finger food and snacks early on in the evening after, you know, this is after dinner, once right. the club thing started. And then everyone snacked all that up. And then they went and brought another one out later in the evening around 11, 1130, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Well, maybe midnight. So it was nice. It was constant food uh, available for people, um, water, alcohol, <laughs> all <Yeah>. that. <laughs> There's Lots. no shortage. I was wondering if they're going to run out of alcohol, but they don't know. Because the, the bottles, uh, you can tell them, they, they, they drop quite a bit, the levels <laughs> you go in. Um, outfits? Oh, man. The Devil Angel outfits. Crazy. People really did a great job. And they put some effort into it. I mean, they are sexy. But it was basically just... Fucking sexy lingerie and bodysuits yeah. walking around. Wings, feathers, oh. lots of butts hanging out, breasts Thigh. overflowing. Yeah. Just thigh high, stocking, sexy shoes. Strappy, pointy, yummy stuff wandering around. It was the high hip, butt cheek exposed thing was just phenomenal. Yeah. I thought that was so fabulous there was a lot of butts everywhere a lot of butts. yes this one woman's dress oh my god amazing it was red you have to t you have to explain this dress i have a hard time forming words when i'm thinking of that dress <laughs> um i get i get tongue-tied and <laughs> there's swelling involved <laughs> um this woman is gorgeous. She's, she's my type. Beautiful. She is totally my type. Jet black hair straight in this gorgeous bob that almost touches the top of her shoulders. Yeah. Beautiful, beautiful hair. Um, beautiful accent. And she's... Perfectly round breasts and butt and, and legs and... <laughs> So this dress that she's wearing is a halter top, but it's a really wide halter. Yeah. So it's like side boob and cleavage right in the middle. Like, it's like a foot of cleavage just right there in your face. And then down the back, 
there's these elastic kind of ladder rungs that run all the way down to the bottom. About and an inch wide. Yeah, about an inch wide. And maybe four and, inches. And like a two-inch gap in uh -huh. between each one. Mm -hmm. So it's just all spine, lower back, butt what? crack, <laughs> and of course, no panties. <laughs> of course not. And what's even better is if she stands with light behind her, it's actually see-through, too. So you can see <laughs> the shadow between her thighs and, yeah, like I said, speechless. Um, yeah. Hot. I think for some reason that was the sexiest dress, and I'm not sure why. Even though there were so many sexy outfits. I, oh yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah. People were very, very creative. I actually was overdressed in my... In your bra and panties with a completely see-through... Sheer, long... Kind of... Uh, Cover-up. Cover-up. Yeah. With, like, butterflies all over it. Yeah. I was overdressed. Yeah. I would have been better just walking around in the bra and the panties. In the bra and the panties. Mm -hmm. And eventually... Because your I shoes. Did. Right. Because you had amazing shoes everybody loved your shoes they were lace up all the way up over the calf mm -hmm. so they were like the wraparound crisscross straps yes ran all and the way up everything was that look it basically looks like diamonds right right Sparkles. the heels the soles of the shoe the top of the shoe the straps that went up the leg all diamonds sparkles yeah. sparkles and the shoes had butterflies on them. The cover-up has butterflies. The bra had blue butterflies. Right. There's a theme. A headband had butterflies. And you were wearing your Victoria's Secret sparkly panties right. that had little uh -huh. bedazzled straps on the side. Yeah. yeah. So by the end of the night, I was just in my high heels panties on a row because I got hot. <laughs> <laughs> to be clear, everyone... she was hot before the <laughs> evening started. <laughs> and then everyone was like, oh, my God, we didn't even see your shoes. I'm like, wait, you didn't even see my shoes. Oh, man, I should have taken this off a long time ago. <laughs> so yeah. tonight. Um, no cover up. No. Yes. No. No. Tonight's animal night. And. Oh, I that have... dress. Mm -hmm. Oh, you're going to be the equivalent of the red dress but an animal print yes. and see-through lace see -through lace nothing but we're here. getting ahead of ourselves because that's for tomorrow's episode oh, but we'll tease you a little bit <laughs> so it wasn't uh, all fun and games uh at some point uh a woman did kind of she either slipped and fell or she, I think she passed out passed out or fell. she yeah stumbled and fell and then was yeah, it was, it was a bit scary. Was a um, she hmm. was dehydrated um, and had passed out. Of course, there's nurses here. So yay to the nurses. Nurses to the rescue and nurses in the lifestyle. I love you. Um, so they were there taking care of her. The, uh, I love it. I can always tell a nurse um, at a party because they all have that same similar training. They say they ask the same questions. They support people in the same way with the support the head. Right. They, you know, all, all the things that they do, there's a pattern of how they care for somebody. And um, I knew she was in really good hands, but it was scary. When you see someone's eyes roll on the back of their head, it's, yeah, it's, it's fucking disturbing because yeah. they look dead. And she looked dead, but she was not. She was just very dehydrated. So they brought her back to life and uh, <laughs> rehydrated her. Re rehydrated her so um, but uh, one other thing I, well we, we'll wrap around back to that so when you go to these events we have a, we have a good friend of ours that has a phrase and he says you gotta train for this shit exactly so when you spent you know, thousands of dollars to, to get here on a flight, a thousand dollars or more to, to, to stay here. You, you, it's a swinger resort, right? So whether you actually come to, maybe you don't come to have sex. I don't know. We come to have sex. Um, so we don't come just for the drinking, the partying, because we can drink and party at home because we, right. we have that there. So we, we train for this. We, we, we make sure we hydrate. We make sure we're not in the pool too long because that dehydrates you. The alcohol dehydrates you. And it's really hard to keep up with your water consumption. 
I tried my best to keep up with my water consumption yesterday, and I'm still dehydrated. Right. So um, you have to just be mindful. It's difficult. You're, you're, you're like a kid in a candy box, you know, with a candy box, and you're like, oh, my God, I just want to do everything. I want to be with everybody. Blah, 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 blah. And you kind of forget that you have to take care of yourself. Yeah. In order yeah. to survive the week. As it is, there, there's a couple of people at breakfast, uh, wives on their own, because their husband was not going to get out of bed all day. Yeah. I'm like, fuck he, no. He did finally wander down, but <laughs> yeah, he was a little uh, cooked. A little cooked, yeah. I'm not going to spend thousands of dollars to lay in bed in my hotel resort all day long. Right. Mm-mm, not going to happen. So that's the big trick, right? But, you know, pace yourself, uh, drink in moderation for two really good reasons. One, you don't want to pass out or yeah. be sick on somebody. And you don't want your dick to stay limp all night. So that too. That's, that too. Maybe that's reason number one. But yes. <sighs> And, and, and I don't even know if anyone was in the playroom last night. So many we people were on know. the dance floor. I don't think anyone got to the playroom. It, we didn't get to the playroom. We visited the playroom the to see night. that it wasn't set up the first night, and then we haven't been back. I know. Because we have, even though I said we're here to fuck, we have had a lot of time, fun time, making the connections. Right. But... Um, no one is actually, I think people are still getting their feet wet, yeah. so to speak, still making those connections. I have a feeling towards the end of the week, um, people will start actually. Well, we're hoping to start getting other things wet mm-hmm. soon <laughs> and, and transition. We're going to start making uh, more direct uh, offers. Yes. Hey. You know, I have, I've got would you like my to list. meet us in the playroom? Yes. Would you like a to list meet us at our bedroom? We'll start dragging people. Yes, we are going to start dragging people. Yeah, today is the day. Most people are out on excursions, so, you know, hopefully not in the sun, hopefully not too tired today. Well, and maybe the people who are off doing excursions will miss out on some daytime oh, shenanigans. shenanigans. Um. They also did have a uh, photographer up there last night. Mm-hmm. I don't yeah. know how we're going to get those photos, but they were sexy. We'll figure that out. Yes. So there's an on-site photographer. Uh, let's see. What else? What else? What else? What else? Oh, later in the evening, they tried to get a bunch of people to go to the lower hot tub pool. Right. Um, to use it as like an outdoor playroom. Playroom. We were all over that. Yeah. So we went down, and uh, there really wasn't anyone there. <laughs> People kind of trickled in, and it just, they didn't really have it s- set up for that. Um, it was not enough light, um, not enough people. No towels were out. So yeah. it, it, it was kind of, yeah, I don't know. And what do you do it on, like, the lawn, the, the sun I chair? think you'd have to do it on the uh, lounge. Yeah. Furniture, which we have done before, and it's uncomfortable, and you do end up with road rash on, on the insides of your knees. <laughs> yes. Um, yeah. I can attest to that. <laughs> yes. That was fun. That was a fun night, though. Um, yeah, so if they had had beds down there, then yes, I think more people would have, but they're trying to get something going. Um, yeah. But instead, we, you know, instead of playing, we met a really nice couple. Mm-hmm. We'd been talking to them in, in the pool earlier in the day, yep. but it was nice to kind of continue the conversation. Um, you had gone to get drinks at some point on the dance floor, and I was standing talking to the lady of the couple, um, Austin couple, and she. I had asked her earlier in the day what their play style was, and so she asked me what ours was and of course I we're full swap but we really like soft swap we love the foreplay and the touching and the kissing and all the stuff Mm -hmm. Um, and so that little conversation and then we saw them again down at the lower pool Mm -hmm. and so I asked them you know how they how they got into it it was interesting their um, experience because they as a couple would go out on date nights and they felt kind of basically judged by by 
the community or other people in the venue where they went to have their date night dancing and things like that about how they um, they felt judged about how they expressed their affection for one another. Right. You know, they're it's all having a like good time. They're dressed up sexy. Maybe they're dancing sexy or kissing each other, but but they felt like they were being stared at for like it was weird, like that was weird. Right. And they thought, wow, that's so they they just felt constrained by their community, like they couldn't really express who they were and how they felt for one another openly. Right. And and this is a married couple. Yeah. This is a couple who've been married for like 14 like years. 14 years. Have a couple kids. Yeah. And so that kind of spurred on the whole, well, gosh, you know, this is kind of. Maybe we need better up. friends kind Maybe, of thing. Yeah. Isn't there something else better out there? I mean, a, a more friendly, open community? How, how do we, so the husband started listening to some podcasts. He, he figures out, oh, yeah, there, there are people, like-minded people, open-minded people. Happens to be a swear community. And so they started checking. He, they listened to the podcast, and then they checked out some of the local swinger um, venues right. in their area. And they found that, yeah, they can go. They can have a good time. They don't have to swing. They just really liked being in that environment, right. which is great. You know, we, we hear this all the time. Even on the Bliss Cruise, people come. They come. They hang out with all the open-minded people, but they don't swing right. at all. Um, and so they did that for a little while, and then, then they kind of thought, well, oh, you know, I don't know, maybe it might be kind of nice to, you know, try a little soft, you know, here and there. And, you know, you, when you get in those environments and you start to see how your sexuality gets to expand and how exciting it is by having sex with your partner next to somebody else who's having sex with their partner and how just like, like who gets to do that? Like, it's just so, the sensory overload and the energy and everything is just so fascinating. You know, and then, you know, at some point you may want to extend that into more touching for soft, more soft, and then maybe full. But you don't even have to do that. But it it was nice. It was a nice story to figure out, you know, how they got into that. I feel badly that they couldn't just be themselves in their own community, that they, like, wow, that's yeah. just fucked up. So it's, it's Oof. strange. We, I don't think we ever felt that, but maybe but we just didn't give up. We don't uh, have that in our area because we have, you know, in you know, we're near San Francisco, so we have, you know, a very large LGBTQ community in San Francisco and and even in Sacramento. And we have a bar called Faces, and they have three bars in three dance clubs in this one bar. It's a massive thing. Right. So you have like more of the um, hip hop uh, bar music in that one area. Then they have a country section which changes themes during the middle of the night, so it switches over to something else. Then they have more of the EDM dance music on the third one. That's where the sexy um, gay men stand on their, their little platforms with their oh, little, little boy go-go shorts. dancer guys. Go-go yeah. dan- oh my god, so fucking hot. You can put money in there oh, in their you know, pants and touch them and so nice and I know I love faces but you know that's what it is it's like there's something for everybody so you, you can you exp- and express yeah. yourself they have a, a unisex bathroom so you walk in first time I walked in I was like oh I'm in the wrong bathroom nope nope it's unisex I was man, man standing there at the urinal peeing I was like okay that's cool a couple men come out of the bathroom from a single stall together I'm like okay I know what's going on in there Wow, this is really cool. My mind was blown. This is all before swinging, right? right. <laughs> I was like, wow, this is so cool. <laughs> so anyway, once again, very fortunate to live in a community that's very open in that regard. Eventually, we say goodbye to our lovely couple, and then we're in bed at 3 a.m. It was a very full day. Full day. So people are out doing excursions, people were exercising today, and we are going to walk the property because it's massive. It is a yeah. huge piece of property, and we are going to get some serious steps in, and hills, lots of hills, and lots of climbing, and lots of steps. Yeah. Literally steps. So we're going to check some stuff out, and then tonight's theme, the animal, yeah, jungle animal theme, theme. Jungle. going to be a lot of fun. Yeah. So we will... We will 
talk to you tomorrow. All right. Before you turn off our podcast to take care of all the vanilla things pulling you away, please reach out and give us a review. I know mashing a star is so much easier, but a review is so much better for sharing your love of what we're doing with others. We would appreciate it. If you want to share a personal story, ask us questions, or share your comments, you can contact us at swingeruniversity at gmail.com. Check us out at swingeruniversity.com, where you can find links to our Twitter and Instagram feeds. Thank you for listening to Swinger University, your horizontal enrichment podcast.